Okay, so uh, looking at this beautiful, beautiful view, you would think that this is just any other ordinary beach. And maybe it is. Maybe. So Patrick, would you like to tell people where we are? We are on Canaveral National Seashore, Merritt Island in Florida. And Look over, right the shoulder. Me, over my shoulder, you will see Space Shuttle Atlantis sitting on launch pad 39A being propped as we speak for its launch, its final launch on July 8th. Not only the final launch of Atlantis, the final launch of the space shuttle program, period. Ever. Ever. This is it. Ever. This is it. The 30 year old program is coming to a close, and uh, we're here to see it. We're here to see it go one last time. I have never seen a space shuttle launch. Neither have I. Well, actually, that's not true. You saw it from I plane. saw it from an airplane, which was amazing. Thank you. It was amazing. <laughs> Um, I did it? Just a little bit. Hey, I came here, I guess it was about 1993. I was on my way to Miami for a conference and crossed over the state line into Florida. And I saw the visitor center and I stopped to do my business. And I thought, uh, you know, a space shuttle. Ooh, yeah, really. And I asked the woman sitting at the counter, when is the next space shuttle launch scheduled for? She said, oh, we have one scheduled to go off tomorrow morning. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, well, well, Raggy. <laughs> yes, I'm going to be a little bit late getting to the conference. Uh, so I, I did. I hung out in Orlando that night. Came here to the Kennedy Space Center about, uh, oh, I guess I arrived about 3 or 4 a.m. Fell asleep under the stars. Aww. The space shuttle, I think, was Discovery, sitting on the pad, all lit up. It was a geek dream come true. And then I woke up about three hours later out maybe 20 minutes prior to launch and the countdown is going and we're ready to watch watch it go and then they scrub the launch damn it five minutes before it was scheduled to go because the emergency landing sites for the shuttle in case there's a problem during launch which are in Europe were all under ring uh, advisory so, so are, there no, are there no windshield wipers on the space shuttle um <laughs> You know, I don't think they're off, actually. <laughs> no, there aren't. It's not like a 747, my dear. It's a spaceship. But, so this is, this is a dream come true. And what's really... After really, me! What's really interesting, though, for this is I have been following the show program since it first started back in 1981. I remember just watching Columbia launch for the first time that morning. I think it was a Saturday or Sunday morning. And, uh... I was just mesmerized by it. So this is a bucket list element for me to see a shuttle launch for the first time. But even more interesting, I was, uh -oh. I was in even more interesting. The tide is catching up yeah. to our camera bag. Okay, but um, my uh, I, I was in sixth grade at that time. Uh oh, Things are, are we in trouble? Full circle, and I am getting ready to experience my first ever space shuttle launch. Thirty years after the fact, with my oldest son and my youngest son, my oldest, who just finished sixth grade. So, you want to talk about the circle going fully around. This is just going to be a remarkable opportunity. So, our, our fingers are crossed for a good on-time launch next Friday, July 8th. Sorry, got it. the waves just got me. <laughs> Woo, it's a little fresh, refreshing. It's a little bit refreshing. Don't put your finger on the mic. I'm not putting my finger on the mic. Started reading about the space shuttle with my dad when all the information came out in National Geographic. I used to get National Geographic for kids, and um, I remember they announced. How was that again? National Geographic for kids, <laughs> and they announced the space shuttle program in that magazine, and it came with a cutout of the space shuttle. And Dad and I glued and built the cardboard space shuttle that it came with. So. I think that would burn up on re-entry, though. That's probably not the safest thing. But I'm as big as a space shuttle geek as this one here. No. So, uh -uh. yeah. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. 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 But I can claim something he can't if I have an inkling of a memory of seeing the moonwalk. Moon yeah, well, who cares? <laughs> I, unfortunately, was born in 1968. 
I don't really have any memory of the Apollo space program, which is unfortunate because I am a big, 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 huge space geek. And um, so this is really, really kind of poignant for me. Um, this is the only spacecraft they say that uh, anybody born in the last 30 years really has any recollection of. Well, really the only spacecraft I have any recollection of either. I remember when space... Excuse me. <laughs> Cut that out. You need to watch out for my elbow. Oh, I need to watch Incoming. out. Incoming. Um, you know, I remember um, when Skylab came back, fell back to Earth. That was a big deal. But uh, I don't remember any, any, any manned space programs for the shuttle. So this is, this is, this is your father's space space craft as well, and uh, I'm here gonna we are. That. Here we are to see it. Here she is. And uh, we tried to go further than the fence here, but, and we were told, halt! Don't go there! By the, uh, yes, the, he halted us. The, the, the contractor on the guard tower here, I think these, these fine folks are probably getting ready to get yelled at too, if they go one more step, <laughs> we got halted. I thought I could go up to the fence. Apparently there's an invisible fence. I crossed the line in the sand. <laughs> Ooh, scary NASA contractor. All right, oh, so well. uh, we will have a video of the launch when it happens. Yep, there it is, that little teeny tiny sack right between, and put it right between those two pylons. Yep, we'll, we'll cut it in there. You're getting too deep. I'm getting too deep, but I'm passionate about this. <laughs> Swim. She means I'm getting too deep in the water. It's, it, the tide is rolling in, and it is getting precariously close to my camera case. So, from the Kennedy Space Center, from I hope <laughs> upload me again in the with the camera lens this time. <laughs> from one mile from launch pad 39A, 39A Patrick and Marley. Wishing you Godspeed, Atlantis. Godspeed. Wherever. 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 We will see you on launch day.